Hello and welcome to today's flow. Happy Best Friends Day and also happy LGBTQ plus month. Today we're going to enjoy a quick but expressive flow dedicated to celebrate ourselves and our being <laughs> on our Lorraine yoga mat, of course. So you don't need any props, just get ready and then let's get right into it. Alright, oh yeah, so soft. <laughs> Let's start in a child's pose. So bring your toes together, your knees hip width apart or closer together and further apart, whatever feels best for you. Bringing your hips towards your heels and then start walking your hands to the top of your mat. Fingers spread wide, maybe you can sink down, let your heart melt down. Maybe you can bring your forehead to the floor, maybe wiggle from side to side, massaging your third eye, or finding stillness. Start deepening your breath, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through your mouth. Allowing yourself to fully arrive on your mat, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Letting go of everything you brought onto the mat with you today. Setting yourself an intention, maybe a powerful self-affirmation, whatever your body is asking for today. Inhaling love and exhaling everything that is not. Just letting go of that. On your next inhale, straightening your spine, making yourself long. And on your next exhale, walking over with your hands towards the right side. Maybe you can clasp your left hand above your right. Try to keep both sit bones evenly on your heels to feel a really nice side stretch in your left side. Maybe you can place your forehead back on the floor and now breathe into your left side body. One more deep breath here. And on your exhale, walk back to center. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, walking over to your left, finding your side stretch on your left side, connecting with your breath, gently waking up your body and your spine. On your next exhale, walk back for one more deep breath in your child's pose. Inhale deeply. Exhale, sigh it out. On your next inhale, Shifting forwards into your tabletop position so that your knees are below your hips and your wrists are below your shoulders, spreading your fingers wide. Knees are hip width apart, hands are shoulder width apart. And on your next inhale, pulling your shoulders back and down, dropping your belly and looking forwards or upwards. And on your exhale, rolling out, uh, making yourself round looking towards your navel and pressing through your hands. A few more times in your own time. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Three more. Really connect to your breath. Move slowly and gentle and with intention. Always treating yourself with love and respect. And whenever you're ready, start rolling out, moving intuitively. If you have a healthy neck, roll that out as well. Really exploring your body and waking up your entire body lovingly. Leaving your ego by the side and just moving however it feels good. Maybe moving a little slower than you want to. 
maybe from tabletop to child's pose and back or coming into a big cobra it feels good engaging your buttocks shoulders back and down and whenever you feel like you've warmed up your body enough placing your weight onto your left wrist inhaling lifting your right hand up exhale threading the needle palm, right palm facing up maybe you can place your right side of your head on the floor pulling your right hip a little back to square out your hips deep breaths here feeling that shoulder stretch and feeling your spine gently twist one more breath exhale on your next inhale press yourself back up finding another opener to the side exhale returning to center now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side so placing your weight on your right hand inhale lifting your left hand up exhale thread the needle finding your variation pulling your left hip a little further to the left to square up your hips three deep breaths here always only go as far as it's comfortable respect your current stage and celebrate the journey one more deep breath exhale placing your right hand back below your shoulder inhale pressing yourself up and exhale finding a neutral spine maybe moving it out just a little more it feels good and whenever you're ready keeping your hips above your knees and then start walking your hands to the top of your mat finding your puppy pose hard to nothing pose maybe you can bring your forehead on the floor maybe your chin breathing here deeply opening your heart space and your shoulders maybe closing your eyes Two more deep breaths here. Last one. On your next inhale, rolling forwards one vertebra at a time, coming into your swings pose. So your shoulders are right above your elbows. You can bring your toes together if that feels better, or maybe mat with the paw, it's your choice. And then spreading your fingers, pulling your shoulders back and down, and energetically pulling your hands towards your upper body to open up your heart a little more. Lengthening your spine to look towards the top of your mat. And if, enjoy a few deep breaths here. Letting go of any stress that you might be holding on to, which we always store in the heart space. Which is what we're going to practice. Many heart and hip openers, we store all of our emotions in our hips. So we're going to try to release whatever we can and just enjoy being ourselves. On your next exhale, slowly rolling down one vertebra at a time. Placing your hands right below your shoulders, tucking your elbows in. And on your next inhale, rolling up, engaging your back into your baby cobra. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. Last round. Inhale. Maybe go a little higher. Exhale, release. Now you can keep doing your baby cobra or bring your fingertips to the outside of your mat. If you are more flexible, have your fingertips closer to your body. If you need more space, go higher up. Keeping your elbows out and up and on your next inhale, rolling up your spine one vertebra at a time, shoulders back and down, coming into your intuitive cobra roll. Exhale, slowly release. Really expressing yourself through your spine. A few more. Inhale, roll back up. Exhale, 
exhale, release. Last one, inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Placing your hands below your elbows. Inhale, find your up dog position, shoulders back and down. Your knees lift up of the floor, your tops of your feet press into the floor, and your body takes is engaged. Exhale, roll over your toes, finding your first downward facing dog of the day. Maybe roll, uh, walking up your legs, bending one knee at a time. Your feet are hip width apart, your hands are shoulder width apart. Pressing especially through your index finger and your thumb. Pressing through your shoulders so that you really lift up and they'll just slouch in here. And then energetically pulling your tailbone up to the sky and your heels to the floor. That doesn't mean that you have to have your knees straight. Do whatever feels good. A few more deep breaths here. Maybe finding stillness. Exhale, let go. Maybe remembering your intention or your affirmation for the day. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. On your next inhale, come up onto your toes and roll forwards into your high plank one vertebrae at a time, really taking your time. Stacking your shoulders above your wrists, finding a strong high plank, tucking your pelvis, engaging your core. And on your exhale, bending your knees, pushing yourself back into your downward facing dog. So imagine creating a wave with your body. Inhale, roll forwards into your high leg. Exhale, bending your knees and pressing back into your downward facing dog. A few more, try to move slower than you want to and try to really make every millimeter, like give every millimeter of your spine attention. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Keep connecting with your breath. Your breath is your friend. Last time. And now roll forwards back into your high plank. Stay here. Come into your side plank. If that's too much, you can always lower down on your knees. But if you want to try and push yourself a little, then go for it. Coming onto the side of your right foot, having your right wrist right below your right elbow, coming with your left foot on top of the right, and lifting your left hand up. One deep breath, really pressing through so that your side of your up lifts up. Exhale, release, pressing a little further up. You can also find any kind of variation here, whatever feels best. Deep inhale. On the exhale, bringing your left foot back behind you, lowering down, preparing for a wild thing. Inhale, bring your left hand up, over, and around. Exhale, stay. One more deep breath. Exhale. Inhale, making your way slowly back to your side plank, and exhale, coming back to your high plank. Same thing on the other side. So, coming into your side plank on your left side. If you wiggle or fall out, it's fine. Just come right back in. Deep breath. And exhale. Maybe finding a variation here as well. On your next exhale, bringing your right foot back and behind you. Inhale, roll, roll around. Wild thing. Hold for one breath. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly coming back to your side plank. Be strong, you can do this. And exhale back to your normal plank. One deep breath here. Exhale, release. We'll go through one vinyasa. So if you need to lower your knees down to the floor, go for it. Inhale, shift forwards over your wrists. Keeping your elbows in. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. One deep breath here. 
Exhale, coming into your child's pose for one deep breath. Checking back in with yourself, how are you feeling? Maybe reflecting which pose you like the least, but also realizing how strong you are and that you can come through everything that you need to. Like, no, no uncomfortable situation stays forever, and you have the power to get through it. And afterwards, you will feel better. <laughs> One more deep breath in your child's house, maybe massaging your third eye. Maybe you're sweating like me because you're living in the desert, but good thing we have the cork mat. <laughs> So it's less slippery. <laughs> and you can now stay here if you need the rest. It's completely fine. It's your practice. Make the best out of it. But you can inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time. Coming into a quick seated position. Um, coming up onto your knees, having your feet right behind you in one line with the knees. And then coming all the way up. Placing your right hands, uh, your <laughs> hands with the fingertips towards the top or the bottom on where your um, pockets would be. Bringing your shoulders back and down and try to bring your elbows a little closer together just to open up that hard space a little more. And then tucking your pelvis, engaging your core and start inhaling and looking up. Maybe this is wherever you're going to be, that's fine. Or lean back a little more. Exhale. Maybe you can push your hips a little forwards. Finding your camel back. You can also bring your hands on your heels if that feels better for you. Deep breaths. One more deep inhale. And on your exhale, slowly coming out. Having the head come down last. And now grabbing onto your heels, placing the crown of your head, not only the forehead, but really the crown of your head on your mat. We're lifting your heel, hips up and finding your rabbit pose. Maybe moving from side to side. Enjoying a little anti-stretch from your camel. Needing that balance in your life and in your practice. Whenever you're ready, maybe coming up for another camel or finding a child's pose already. Shoulders back and down, deep inhale. And on your exhale, leaning back into your camel. You don't always need to find your deepest expression. Whatever your body's asking for, follow it. Be respectful. Don't let your ego leap, it's bad. <laughs> deep inhale. Exhale, coming, back, coming out the way you came in and finding your rabbit once more. Deep breath. Exhale, finding your child's pose for one deep breath. Checking back in with yourself. And whenever you're ready, coming up, back into your downward facing dog. Maybe walking out your legs a little more or finding stillness, making sure that your feet are hip width apart, your hands are shoulder width apart, <clears throat> your sacrum is pulling, energetically pulling towards the sky and your heels towards the floor, you can keep your knees bent. <laughs> One deep breath here. Exhale, release. Placing your weight onto your left foot. On your next inhale, coming up into your three-legged dog. Exhale, bending your knee and opening up your hip. Maybe opening up your hip a little more if it's possible. Trying to keep your shoulders evenly pressing so that your hands are evenly pressing on the floor. One deep breath. And on your exhale, coming into your pigeon pose. You can also find figure four stretch if that's more comfortable for you. Your knees in one line with your right hip now. Your left leg is in one line with your left hip. Maybe you got to wiggle around a little bit. If you want it more intense, start bringing your foot towards the top of your mat. Or, you know, don't. <laughs> you can now stay here, bring your shoulders back and down. Deep inhale. 
Maybe you're lifting up your arms. Exhale, maybe you stay here or you start leaning forwards, finding your sleeping pigeon. Maybe you like to wiggle from side to side if that feels good. Deep breaths, reconnecting with your breath. And if any emotions come up, allow them to release without judgment. What you're feeling is valid. So just let it go. Don't just ignore it, but work through it. And I think that yoga always helps me do that. One more deep breath. Exhale, let everything go. Now take your time walking back up. And either come into just a cross-legged position or try to come into a cow face position with me. So bring in your knees, your right knee to the center of your mat. Swinging your left leg around and try, you don't have to, but try to stack your knees on top of one another. You might have to wiggle around a little bit here too. And try to keep your hips evenly on the floor. This is a pretty intense stretch, so if you can come into the fullest expression, that's fine. As long as you feel it, especially in your outer hips right now, enjoy it. And now you have the option to either stay here or massage your feet a little bit, it feels good. We walk around on them all day. It's always nice to give them some love. Or you can also bring your right hand up and over, bend up at the elbow, and then bringing your left hand behind, maybe grabbing onto your t-shirt or whatever you can find. Or you can even clasp your hands and open up your heart a little more, stretching your shoulders. Maybe you can look up a little more. Or what I also always enjoy doing is bringing your left hand in front of you, the right on top, and maybe grabbing on the opposite elbow, or try to bind further and come into your eagle, eagle arms. And then lift your elbows to shoulder height. That's such a good stretch. One deep breath. Exhale. You can also, last variation, lean forwards for, in my opinion, the deepest stretch. And, you know, depending on the day, it feels different, if it's better or worse. So it's normal that our bodies and if uh, they're feeling varied, so just go with it. And then whenever you're ready, unwinding and coming back into your downward facing dog. Gazing in between your toes, one deep breath. Exhale, let's go. Bringing your weight onto your right side. Inhale, lifting your left leg up. Bending it at the knee, opening up your hip. One deep breath. Exhale, maybe you can open up a little more. Maybe you can bring that left knee up a little higher too. Deep inhale. Exhale, coming into your pigeon on the other side. So finding whichever variation your body enjoys most today. Your left knee is in one line with your left side of your hip and your right leg is in one line with your right hip. And on your inhale, maybe bringing your hands back up. On your exhale, maybe staying here or coming back into your sleeping pigeon. Maybe you enjoy moving from left to right here as well or finding stillness. We're almost through already, you're doing great. Last breath. And then coming back up gently, bringing your left knee to the center of the mat, swinging your right leg around, Wiggling your arms so that you can come into the closest variation possible or most comfortable to you. Sometimes it takes me a while to get into, it's fine, it's not about speed here. <laughs> and then, depending on which variation you chose, bringing the left hand up over you, bending it at the elbow, and bringing your right hand around, maybe clasping your hands, maybe opening up your heart. Or bringing your right arm in front of you, your left arm above. 
I always confuse it. And then grab it onto opposite elbows, all winding around, all the way, coming into your eagle. Lifting your elbows on shoulder height. Deep breath. You can also keep massaging your feet if you like it, or start leaning forwards here. Whatever feels best. It's your practice again. Take what you need and leave everything else. <laughs> Maybe you want to close your eyes, whatever feels best. Whenever you're ready, walking back up, unwinding your feet, bringing the bottoms of your feet together. Maybe bringing your heels closer to your pelvis or further apart into like a diamond shape. And then you can stay here or lean forwards. Or you can also come onto your back bringing your lower back on the floor, placing one hand on your belly, the other one on your heart, maybe wiggling from side to side here too, feeling your heartbeat on your left hand, and your other hand rising and falling on your belly on the right. Going internally and again checking in with yourself because we cannot do that often enough. Maybe closing your eyes, Relaxing your shoulders, neck, and your jaw. One more deep breath. Exhale, release. Or you stay here, or you can come bringing your hands on the outsides of your feet with your elbows on the insides of your knees. And then pulling your knees closer to the armpits, pulling your hands down and pressing your feet up, finding happy baby pose. Maybe wiggling from side to side if it feels good or finding stillness. Deep breaths here. One more deep breath. And now just extending your legs up to the sky, feeling the blood leave your legs and rushing through your body. Maybe adding your hands too, it feels good. And in the first moments, I always enjoy finding some movement. So maybe rolling up your wrists and your ankles, moving your toes and your fingertips. And whenever you feel like you had enough, just find stillness for one deep breath. One more inhale. And on your exhale, coming down, finding your Shavasana. Feel free to take up more space if you have it. I'm gonna keep the wall so I can't do it, but extending into maybe a start the Shavasana. Really taking up all that beautiful space. Because why not? You're allowed to take up space. Let's just get comfortable. Close your eyes. Finding your normal breath. Maybe you can feel a difference to when you got started with your practice in your body compared to now. Hopefully your heart feels open and you feel light. I always enjoy offering affirmations during your Shavasana and if they resonate with you, internally repeat them to yourself. But if you do, truly mean them, like putting all your love and all your intention into those words. I am love. I am strong. I am enough. I love myself for who I am. 
I inspire others. I deserve love and I am capable of giving this love back threefold. I am brave and I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. I trust myself and my journey. And I know that everything will be good in the end. Inhaling love. And exhaling everything that is not. Trying to relax your entire body, starting at your toes, through your feet to your heels, relaxing your ankles, your calves, your knees, and your thighs, relaxing your groins, your hip and your pelvis, Letting everything go. Relaxing your bottom, your lower belly and your lower back. Through your heart space. Through your chest. Relaxing your lower back and your upper back. Into the shoulders. Relaxing your upper arms your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, all the way through your palms to the tops of your fingertips. Relaxing your neck and your jaw, your throat, your lips, maybe your mouth falls open. Relaxing your tongue, your cheeks. Imagine relaxing your ears and your nose. Relaxing your eyes. Imagine relaxing behind your eyes. Relaxing your eyebrows, your space in between your eyebrows, your third eye, we also keep a bunch of stress. Relaxing your forehead all the way to the crown of your head. Inhaling love. And letting go of everything that is not. Scanning your body on your own, making sure to release any tension you still are holding on to. Allowing yourself to just exist and be present on your mat in this current moment. Maybe finding a sense of gratitude for getting on your mat, for taking and making this time for yourself, for moving through your feelings and acknowledging your emotions. for accepting yourself as much as you could and treating yourself with the love and respect that you deserve. Enjoying one more deep breath. Make it the deepest one yet. Inhaling through the nose. Filling up your body, your lungs, your belly. Hold up the top, letting go through your mouth, <sighs> emptying out everything. Starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes, rolling up your wrists and your ankles, moving your head from side to side, working your body back up, 
If you want to stay in Shavasana, you can do that too. Not a problem. Whenever you're ready, stretching all four of the way from you, coming into your big body on, making yourself as long as you possibly could. Whenever you're ready, bending your knees, <clears throat> hugging your knees into your chest, giving yourself a gentle and loving self-hug, maybe moving from side to side. If it feels good, grab onto your knees and give yourself a gentle lower back massage here. Always follow your body's needs. Always listen to yourself and your gut. You can trust yourself. Giving yourself another hug because you're awesome and you deserve all the hugs and all the love. Squeezing yourself. Oh. Rolling onto your favorite side, coming into your fetal position. Hopefully, you feel wonderful and like a newborn and ready to take on your day and your life. <laughs> Maybe keeping your eyes closed if that feels good. Seeing those deep breaths like little love letters to yourself. So, Write every day as many as you can to yourself because you are worthy. Whenever you're ready, keeping your eyes closed, coming into a comfortable seated position, maybe cross legged position, or whatever else your body is asking for right now. Sitting up straight, shoulders back and down, placing your one hand to your right hand on your belly and the left one on your heart. One deep breath here and feel everything that your body lets you feel. One more just because it was so beautiful. Inhale, hands over your head. Maybe look up, maybe your palms can touch. Exhale, bringing your thumbs to your third eye, the space in between your eyebrows. May you have thoughts of wisdom and clarity. Bringing your thumbs to your lips, maybe rubbing your nail against your lower lip. May you speak words of kindness and truth. And bringing your thumbs to your heart space. May you feel and give the love that you truly deserve. The love and light in me sees and honors the love and light in you. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through today's practice. Remember to stay hydrated and treat yourself with love and respect. And I will hopefully see you soon. Namaste. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you can express yourself and allow yourself to feel through all the feelings, all the things that your body is telling you. And know that every hard times, every situation, they will pass and you will get through them. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for participating. <laughs>